morning, everybody. Good morning. To honorable judges, teachers, and all my lovely friends. Now, today I'm going to entertain you about story and East Indonesian and folk The story from Larantuka. The title is Badaun Stone, Badaun Stone, or in Indonesia we call it Batu Badaun. Well, everybody, please listen and enjoy it. And the story runs like this. Once upon a time, to live a widow in the city of Larantuka. She had two children. The eldest is a nine years old boy, and the youngest is a six years old girl. One day, the boy went to look for fish in the sea, and the day was lucky because he managed to get a lot of one of his eggs. Then he hurried home with a happy heart. When he arrived home, he proudly gave the cut of his eggs for his mother. Mom, see what he got. It's a lot of one of his eggs. Cook this for us to eat together later. Save the boy. After saying that, the, blo the boy played a bit far from his house. When mealtime arrived, the boy had not returned home yet. Therefore, his mother and the younger sister asked first. And you know guys, the sister separately spent the couple of his eggs, which were part of his brother. And then, when the brother arrived home, they went straight to the dining table hungrily, but the cuttlefish eggs were no longer on the dining table. And then, the brother cried uncontrollably and demanded his mother to immediately give the cuttlefish eggs for him. <coughs> Where is my cuttlefish eggs? Where, mom? Where is my cuttlefish eggs? Give me mine! Say the boy. The boy cried loudly, cried loudly. And the mother, in a hurry, headed, headed to the sea. She intended to find one of his eggs to give to her lovely son. But the mother can find the cut of his eggs. She headed to the cut of his eggs. She returned home with empty handed. Arriving home, the mother persuaded her son, the mother persuaded her son to come up with her in various ways. But the son kept praying and and the mother could not sleep. Therefore, finally, the mother decided to die by throwing her son into the stone of Badal. And guys, early in the morning, the mother prepared a large of the pupa. Sorry. The mother prepared a large of the pupa and seven cells. And before leaving, she prepared these two material. And she went off. She went off to the Madeline spot while her two children are while her two children were still sleeping. And not long after that, the two children the two children woke up. The two children astonished because they didn't see their mother. Mom, mom, where are you? Started the children. The brother tried to search everywhere and he found his mother's footprints on the path. And the brother and the younger sisters followed the, their mother's footprints. The road leads to the Lebanon stone.
then they kept running, running, and running. But they didn't see their mother. And the younger sisters began to tire because of thirsty and hungry. And the sisters began to cry and sob. <coughs> mama, Mama, where are you? I'm thirsty and I'm hungry, say the youngest sisters. And apparently, the mother, the mother heard the daughter's screams and scream. And then the mother cut, the mother cut a piece of the tupac and seven and set and written in milk and written milk in this in the seals. She put, she put the piece of the tupac and and milk in the seals on a rock on the side of the road. And like this. And then, and then, this was repeated by his mother until seven times, until the cells, the all the cells, and the ketubat were gone. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the mother arrived at the badam stone, and he said, and she said. Badam stone, badam stone, please eat me. I want to die. I won't live anymore. Eat me, please. The mother screamed. And then the badam stone, the badam stone begins. And the mother jumped in. From a distance, the two children seen, had seen the mother and they said, Mom, Mom, why you let go? Why you let, why you leave us, Mom? But they were too late. But they were too late. Because the mouth, the dog's mouth had, had closed. After that, after that, the balance months was left on the hairs, and they both held the mother's hairs and stayed and took screaming and crying, "Mom, mom." Why you let go up? Why you let why you let us? Mom, sorry for what we have to do. Sorry for what we have to do. Mom, please don't let us. And then the mother was gone. And because she had, she had been sold up by the Madame Stone. After that, the children were known to live alone. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. In this place, I will. I will brought you a story about Aladdin. The story starts with once upon a day, once upon a time, there was a poor boy in a Arabian city of Agraba named Aladdin. He was a clever boy, and he has a monkey pet named Abu. One day, they meet Princess Jasmine. 
the basis of the kingdom of Agrava. That, sne that sneak out of the palace to explore big time of her sheltered life. When going back to the palace, Princess Jasmine lost her gold bracelet because it was hiding by Abu. One night, Aladdin sneaked out to the palace to meet Princess Jasmine in order to return the golden bracelet. Princess Jasmine was surprised because Aladdin can could enter the the palace and return it. After giving giving back her breakfast, Aladdin asked to Princess Jasmine to meet again. But the meeting never took place because after leaving the palace, Aladdin but Aladdin was arrested by Jafar away from the palace to a cave. Jafar was a man who wanted to overthrow Jasmine's father. After that, Jafar persuaded Aladdin to retrieve the, the magic land. In the cave, Jafar found a, Aladdin found a magic carpet. Then he retrieved the magic land. And outside the cave, Aladdin gave the magic lamp to, Jaff to Jaffar, but Jaffar betrayed him and threw him back into the cave. Fortunately, Abu, the pet, stole back the lamp. And unintentionally, Aladdin robbed the lamp. He don't know that robbing the lamp will make the genie out of the land. Ha ha ha. I am genie. I am the most powerful, powerful being in the universe. I can grant you three wishes, said the genie. Aladdin then asked for the first wishes to become a prince because he thinks that it's the only way to, to make Princess Jasmine fall in love with him. Turn me into a sultan, said Aladdin. Then, Jimmy turned Aladdin into a sultan. After that, Aladdin entered the Agraba as the prince of Ababa. But sadly, Princess Jasmine was, was unimpressed with him. Why isn't Princess Jasmine interested in me? I'm a sultan. Isn't that what she want? Asked Aladdin to the genie. After knowing that he was Aladdin, Jafar stole the lamp and became Tini's new master. Then Jafar used his first two wishes to become a master, to become a sultan, and the world powerful sorcerer. After that, Jafar exposed Aladdin and Abu to the frozen wasteland, to the frozen wasteland. But 
Luckily, the magic carpet brought them back into the palace. In the palace, Aladdin started taunting Jafar for being the second only in term in term in term to power. They take Jafar to use his last wish. Then Jafar used his last wish to become a a most powerful than genie. Genie make me a, a most powerful being in the universe, more powerful than you, Southern Jaffa. But because his wish was not specific, Genie was really interpret and turn 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 Jaffa into a genie in the land with no master. And then throw him back, throw him to the cave of wonder. After that incident, Aladdin decides to leave Agraba because he's still unworthy of Princess Jasmine. And because of the royal rule, they have not allowed royal members to marry an ordinary people. You still have a chance. Say one word and the rule will disappear. Come on, say G. For my, for my last wish, I want you to turn into a human. Say Jimmy. Say Aladdin. Then, Jimmy turned into a human. Inside the palace, the Sultan decided to to make Princess Jasmine into a new sultan. After being a new sultan, Princess Jasmine removed the, the royal rule. And after that, Aladdin and Princess Jasmine married and got in live Happily ever after. The end. Hello, good morning everyone. The Hamlet Gorgias features all my days, all my friends, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to tell you about a story and little and title of Aladdin. So, don't go anywhere because I will tell you the story in the time. Let's go back to the time and let's go, sorry, let's go back to the time and which is called Once Upon a Time, there lived a poor boy in Arabian city of Agrabah. His name is Aladdin. He was a clever boy and he had a monkey pet, Abu. One day, they met Princess Jasmine, the princess of the kingdom of Agrabah, who had snuck out of the place to export time of her certain leave. When going back to the place, Princess Jasmine lost her gold bracelet because it was hidden by Abu. 
long night, Aladdin slipped into the place to return her bracelet, to return her bracelet. Princess Jasmine was surprised that Aladdin could enter the place to return it. After giving her place, Aladdin asked her to meet him. But the meeting never took him because after giving the place, Aladdin was arrested by Jafar away from the away from the place to a cave where the magic lamp was located. Jafar was the man who wanted to overthrow Princess Jasmine's father. Inside the cave, he persuaded Aladdin to retrieve the lamp. Jafar, inside the cave, Aladdin found magic carpet and obtained the magic lamp. He gave it to Jafar, but Jafar betrayed him and took it back to the place. But fortunately, Abu, he, but fortunately, Abu, the best stole back in the cave. And intentionally, Aladdin broke the lamp. He didn't know that rubbing the lamp would make the gem out of the magic lamp. Ha 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 ha! I am Jin, the strongest being in the universe. I can grant you three wishes. Say Aladdin, say to Jin. Then Aladdin asked her to his first wish to become a prince to impress Jasmine because he think that it was the only way to make Princess Jasmine fall in love with him. Turn me into a sultan, said Aladdin. Then the jinn turned him into a sultan. Then he entered as Agraba as prince of Abakwa. But Jasmine was unimpressed. Why isn't Princess Jasmine interested in me? I am already a sultan. It is what she wants, as Aladdin to the jinn. When, when the jackal knew that he was Aladdin, he stole the lamp from Aladdin and become Jin's new master. He, he spent, he spent years to Jesus to become a prince, to become a sultan, and and the powerful was made in the universe. Then he threw it back to the place. Then he threw it back to the place. Aladdin stole by counting Jafar of playing second only to Jin in terms of the power for trapping him to use his last toys. Then Aladdin then, Jafar asked Jin to change him to be powerful than Jin. Jin, for my final wish, I want to be the most powerful being in the universe, more powerful than you. So, Jafar. Because his wish was not specific, Jin was turned, in, turned him into a into a gym with in a magic plan with no master. Then he turned in into a cave into a cave of windows. After that Aladdin decided after that Aladdin decided to leave the place because he he told unworthy of Princess Jasmine and then was and then was the royal was the royal road that didn't allow princess marry in ordinary people. You still have a chance. Say one word and the rule will disappear instantly. Say the genie. As my last wish 
I want you to turn into human, said Aladdin. Jin finally turned into human. Meanwhile, inside the place, Sultan declared Jasmine would be the next Sultan. After that, Jasmine would. After that, Jasmine would change the rule right. After that, Aladdin and Jasmine got married, and they all lived happily ever and ever. The end. It is a little story at me. Thank you for your attention and bye bye. Okay, good morning, guys. Now I will tell you the story about Disney store. Uh, do you hear this song before? A whole new world, a new paradise, a point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go, or whatever or to dream in a whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew, but when I wake up here, it's crystal clear. Then now I'm on a hard road with you. Yeah, that's right. The story about Alan. Once upon a time, there lived a poor boy in Arabian city of Agraba named Alan. He was a clever boy, and he had a monkey bell at One day. They met Princess Jasmine, the princess of the kingdom of Agrada, who had snuck out of the palace to explore a part of her sultan. When going back to the palace, Princess Jasmine lost her gold bracelet because it was hidden by Abu. One night, Aladdin sneaked into the palace to meet Princess Jasmine in order to nurture her blessing. Princess Jasmine was surprised that Aladdin could enter the palace in order to nurture her blessing. After giving her blessing, Prince Aladdin asked Princess Jasmine to meet again. But the meeting never took the palace because after leaving the palace, Aladdin was arrested by Jafar away from the palace to a king. Jafar was the man who wanted to overthrow Princess Jasmine's father. He persuaded Aladdin to retrieve the land. Inside the cave, Aladdin found a magic carpet and obtained the lamp. He gave it to Jafar, but Jafar betrayed him and threw him back into the into the cave. But fortunately, Abu, the bat stole back the lamp. Intentionally, Aladdin robbed the lamp. He didn't know that robbing the lamp would make the genie out of the magic lamp. Ha <laughs> I am Jin, the strongest being in the universe. I can grant you three wishes, say Jin. Then Aladdin asked Jinny to become a prince in to impress Princess Jasmine because he told that it was the only way to make Princess Jasmine fall in love with him. Turn me into a soap, say Aladdin. 
Then the genie turned him into a soap. Then he entered Agrada as the prince of Abaco, but Jasmine was unimpressed. Why is the princess Jasmine interested in me? I am already a soap. Isn't it what she wants? Said Aladdin to the genie. to change him into a more, more, more powerful than Jin. Jinny, for my final wish, I want to be a more powerful than you, said Aladdin to the Jin. Because he wish was not specific, Aladdin The genie was fully interpreted and became and turned him in a magic lab, in a genie in a magic lab. <laughs> then after that, Aladdin decided to leave the palace because he felt unworthy the Princess Jasmine because there was a royal group and didn't allow a royal member to marry a binary people. After that, Aladdin and Princess Jasmine got married and they all lived happily ever after. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today, I'm going to tell you a story of the dog Once upon a time, there lived a poor boy named Aladdin in the of an named Aladdin. He was a poor boy and he has a monkey pet, Abu. One day, they meet Princess Jasmine. The princess of the kingdom of Angraba, named Angraba. She had had a something she had not about the balance to explore. Tired of her life, of tired of her son of life. After after when going back to the palace, Jasmine was her goal. It was her goal to reflect. Now, it was hidden by Abu. One Aladdin, Aladdin sneaked into the palace to meet Princess Jasmine. In, in order to run to the mountain,
Tomorrow I'm good. Good. We're excited. Princess Daphne was surprised that I did me, but that I did that I did is called Anton Pellet. After giving her breakfast, I like it. I did extra here to to meet again. But the meeting never took again, never part again, because Aladdin was retrieved by Jaffa. The Jaffa away from a fella to a cave where the where the magic plant of a cave. Jaffa of the man who had wanted wanted to to overthrow Princess Jasmine's mother. <laughs> he persuaded Aladdin to to Ari to Eritrea the land. Inside the cave, Aladdin found a magic carpet and obtained a lamp, the lamp. He gave it to Jafar, but Jafar, but Jafar betrayed him and entered and dragged him back to the, back to the cave. A sultan and the sultan to the sultan to <laughs> to Jasmine, but because he because he found that way that way one only way to make Jasmine fell only love with him. Turn me into a sultan, said Jasmine, said Ali. Then the just then the uh, then the genie he into him a sultan. Then, then he disread Amrabah as then he disread Amrabah as Prince of uh, above one, above one. But Jasmine, but Jasmine was but Jasmine was unimpressed. What? It's Jasmine. Not, what Jasmine? What? It's Jasmine. This is me. I. I'm already, I'm already a 
Assunta. She wants as as I to Jean. When when Jabber know that was when Jabber know he wants Aladdin, he so he so he so he so magic them the magic them from the, from Aladdin and he came. Genie news monster. Then he used his first two visits to become a sultan and a world must and and world must and world must power center. Then he asked Aladdin and Abel to the present western. But the magic carpet pulled them back to the palace. palace. Aladdin, Aladdin sent by Taunting Jafar. Taunting Jafar to To be, to be second than only one, than only two genie of a power for tricking he, tricking he use the last reason. Genie, for my last visit, I must you. I must you power than you. Say, say Java. Because he, because he visit was not specific. Genie, Genie, fairly tracing, tracing dress. Turn him a genie and in a magic land no was not ma master. Then Aladdin left the village because well, he was Princess Jasmine Princess Jasmine bounced in rule the a royal royal to marry to marry people. You have a chance, say one word, and the rule the champion. And the rule, the rule is a other way. Come on, say Jin. As my one rule, as my one wish, I want you, I want you into a woman. Then, I then Jin wants into a woman, and after, and after. And after a sultan being Princess Jasmine, Princess Jasmine, brings the rule, and after that, and after that, Aladdin and Genie 
to marry and they have all life happily and they have happily ever after. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Ika and I am from Level C. Now I will story tells about Batu Bara. <laughs> Once upon the time, there lived a widow in the city of Larantuka. She had two children. The oldest is a nine years old boy, and the youngest is a six years old. One day, the brother went to look for him in the sea. That day was lucky. He managed to get a lump cut off his head. Then he hurried home with a hockey. He probably to give the cut off his head for a mom to cook it. Mom, see what I got. It's a lump cut off his eggs. Cook this for us to eat together later, said the boy. After saying that, the boy, after saying that, he will play to be far from his house. When your time arrived, the brother, when your time arrived, the brother not return home yet. Therefore, the mother and the younger sister ate first. Because of the long, because of the long wait, the sister secretly, the sister secretly, and the the wheat were part cut off his egg, his brother. When the brother time arrived for, he went spent in on the dining table, but he but he no longer on the cut off his egg on the dining table. He uncomfortably demanded his mother give to cut off his egg. Give me my cut off his egg. Give me mine. The boy cried slowly. In a hurry, the mother headed to the sea.
make him cry. And the surprise of the When she was a child, and her father, the king, got married again. The new queen was very pretty, but she was a witch. The new queen dreamt to be the most beautiful lady in the kingdom. The queen owns a magic mirror. She would always ask it, mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And without fail, the mirror would always answer her, You are the fairest of them all. However, as time passed by, Snow White grew to be more beautiful than ever. It made her stepmother feel jealous of her. One day, the queen stood upon the mirror again and asked him, Mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of them all? Expecting the same answer. But the queen was caught off guard when the mirror answered her with, It is true, you are very fair, but Snow White is fairer than you. With anger filling up inside of her, she shouted, How dare you! You are talking nonsense! The queen Filled with envy, ordered a hunter to kill Snow White. With the box in her hand, she told the hunter, Take Snow White into the forest and bring her heart as proof. But the hunter took pity on Snow White and set her free. The hunter convinced the queen that he had killed Snow White by presenting her a deer's heart. Meanwhile, deep in the forest, Snow White is trying her best to find a safe place. By pure luck, she stumbled upon a cottage. There was no one inside except for seven little beds and seven little plates with food on it. Snow White was quite hungry, and so she, she ate a few vegetables and a little bread from each plate. Feeling sleepy, Snow White decided to lay down on one of the beds and fell asleep. When the dwarves, the owner of the house, came back home, they were surprised when they found Snow White sleeping on their bed. Snow White when Snow White woke up, she told the seven dwarves the whole story. The dwarves, taking pity on her, decided to let her stay. When they are leaving for work, they had warned Snow White to not let anyone in, fearing that the queen would one day find her. In the meantime, inside the palace, the queen once again stood upon the mirror. She asked it, Mirror, mirror on the wall, Who's the fairest of them all? The mirror answered her, You, my queen, 
it is true. But Snow White, deep in the mountains, with the seven dwarves, are one, a thousand times fairer than you. Finally, the queen knew that Snow White was still alive. Taking matters into her own hands, she decided to make a magic potion. A potion that would put Snow White into eternal sleep forever. She then dipped a red apple into the poisonous potion, creating the infamous red apple. One morning, the queen disguised herself as an old woman and came to the cottage to find Snow White. Oh, pretty, please let me in. I have something special for you, said the old woman. Snow White, from inside the cottage, could only softly answer her. I'm sorry, I can't let you in. The seven dwarves have warned me to not let any strangers in. But my dear, I have a delicious shiny apple. It would be a waste if it was thrown away. Do you want it? Offered the old woman. Snow White, persuaded by the words of the old woman, took the apple and hid it. With one bite, Snow White fell into the floor. The queen, unable to hold her laughter, laughed out loud. <laughs> Feeling satisfied with herself, she went back to the palace. The seven dwarves, when they came back home, they had found Snow White has already died. She took, they took her, her body into a glass coffin in front of the cottage. One day, in the forest, a Prince Charming was passing by. He stumbled upon Snow White and was dazzled by her beauty. He kissed her on her forehead. Then, because of the first, the true love's kiss, the spell was broken and Snow White's eyes opened. Hooray! shouted the dwarves. At last, the, the prince brought Snow White to his palace, got married to her, and lived happily ever after. The end. Good morning, Carla, brother, sister, teacher, and friends. Thank you for the time that are given to me. My name is Maria Sanagawada. I am the representative of Class 11B. Now I will tell you a story of Pato Gardao. I hope that you will enjoy this story. Once, once upon a time, there was a widow in the city of Guarantupa. She had two children. The oldest is a nine-year-old boy, and the youngest is a six-year-old girl. One day, the brother went to look for some fish in the sea. That day was lucky. He managed to get a lot of cuttlefish eggs. Then, he went home with a happy heart. He proudly gave the cuttlefish eggs to his mom for cooking. Mom, look what I got. It's a lot of cuttlefish eggs. Cook this for us to eat together later, said the boy. After saying that, he went to play a bit far from his house. When mealtime arrived, the brother had not returned home yet. Therefore, the mother and the sister decided to eat first. Because of the long way, the sister secretly ate the cuttlefish eggs, which were supposed to be for her, for her brother. <laughs> when, when the brother arrived home, he went straight to the dining table, hungrily. But 
the cuttlefish eggs were not there anymore. Because of that, the, the brother started to cry and demanded his mom to give him the cuttlefish egg. Give me my cuttlefish eggs! Give me mine! Says the, the boy cried loudly. In a hurry, the mother headed to the sea. To, she intended to get some cuttlefish eggs for her son. But unfortunately, she came home empty handed. Mother, after arriving home, the mother tried to persuade her son in various ways, but the son kept crying. The mother could not sleep. Therefore, then finally, the mother decided to die by killing her, by, by throwing herself into the stone of Adel. Early in the morning before leaving, the mother prepared a large kukupan and seven shells. Then, after that, she went off into the Balaon stone. Into the Balaon stone when the two children were still asleep. Not long after that, the two children woke up. When they were when they were when they woke up, they were surprised because they didn't see their mother. Mom, mom, where are you? The two children shouted. When when they didn't find their mother, the boy tried searching everywhere, and he found. A footprint of her mother that leads to the Badawan stone. Then, after that, he and his sister, he and his sister followed the mother footprint and followed the mother footprint to the Badawan stone. But long, long after that. The sister started to get hungry. She shouts and she shouts and cries, "Mom, mom, where are you? I, I am hungry and thirsty." But apparently, the mother heard her daughter screams and cries. She then cut a piece of the pot and redden the milk in the shells. She repeated that step until seven times until all of the ketupat and the seven shells were all gone. The mother had arrived at the Badalong stove. She then begs and cried. Oh Badalong, oh Badalong stone, please eat me. I wanted to die. I won't live anymore. Please eat me. The mother said. Then the Badal stone mouth slowly opened. The mother went in, and from afar, the daughter and her son saw that the mother were already in the Badal stone mouth. All that was left of her was her hair. The the mom then I'm sorry. The this sister and her son then cried. Mom, please don't leave us. We won't do this. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for what we have done. Please don't leave us. But the mom has already gone. The two children now live alone. Thank you very much. Hello, 
everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Today, I would like to deliver a story from Artuka with the title Batu Badal. Once upon a time, there is a widow in the city of Warantuka. She has two children. The eldest is a nine-year-old girl, and the youngest is a six-year-old girl. One day, the brother went to look for fish in the sea. That day he was lucky. She managed, he managed to get a lot of cuttlefish eggs that he ran to her home with a happy heart. Then, he gave the cuttlefish eggs to his mother for cooking. Mother, see what I got. It's a lot of cuttlefish eggs. Oh, how sweet, my boy. Thank you. After giving the cuttlefish eggs to his mother, then the brother went to play a bit far from his house. When mealtime arrived, the brother wasn't returned home yet. Therefore, the mother and the daughter ate first. But because of the long way, the sister secretly spent the cuttlefish eggs, which were the part of his brother. Mm, so yummy! But when the brother comes home, she felt very hungry, and when he straight to the dining table, there, the dining table was empty. <gasps> where is my cut of his eggs? Mother, mother, where is my cut of his eggs? I'm so hungry. Mom, please, give me mine. <laughs> But she had returned home with an empty handed. The mother tried to present her son in a various ways, but the son kept crying. Then the mother cannot sleep because the boy crying, crying, and crying. Then secretly, the mother decided to die by throwing herself into the stone of Badal. Early in the morning before leaving, she prepared a large of ketupat and seven shells. Meanwhile, her children were still sleeping. When the children woke up, they didn't find their mother. They tried to search everywhere. But then, the brother found their mother's footprints on the path. The road leads to the brother of stones. Then, they followed the mother's footprints and they were running, running, and running. But they didn't find their mother. And because of tired, the sister started crying. Mama, where are you? I'm thirsty. I'm hungry, Mama. Where are you? And apparently from the distance, the mother heard the daughter cry. Oh no, there's my daughter. And because of that, the mother cut a piece of ketupat that she carried and redeemed the milk into the shells that she carried. And uh, the mother put the ketupat and the shells in the rock on the side of the road. the katupa and the milk were dry in her hands. Meanwhile, the mother has arrived in the battle of stone.
But I was there. Please eat me. I want to live anymore. I want to die. But I was there. Please eat me. Eat me, please, Badawa. Then, slowly, the Badawa's mouth began to open. The mother jumped into the stone of Badawa. From the distance, their children saw their mother jumping, but they were too late. Their mother has gone. The only thing that left is only her mother here. They both held the her mother, their mother here and started crying. Mama, please don't leave us. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry what we have done, Mama. Please don't leave us alone. Mama. But their mother was dying. The mother has gone. And the two children live alone. Thank you.